Hello everybody, AVT here, and I am back with another video for Star Wars Galaxies Legends. And today we're going to be doing the prequest for the Axe from Min heroic instance. So, I am in Aurelia, and it starts over here in the Adventurer's Guild Hall, just like the other ones. So, we got to go on inside, and then we're going to veer off to the left and interact with the Night Sister headdress. Right here. As you examine the headdress, you notice that it pulses with a mysterious energy. Would you like to investigate further? Yes, I would. Perfect. So now we have the Night Sister headdress quest. Find someone in Aurelia who might know more about the Night Sister headdress in the Adventurer's Guild Hall. So now we can go over here to Rohak, where we got our box of achievements, and he'll give us a little more information on the headdress. Welcome to Township Aurelia. I trust that your stay will be a hospitable one and that you shall find whatever it is that you seek. Tell me about the Night Sister headdress in the Adventurer's Guild Hall. It is a fairly typical headdress as worn by Night Sister witches. As far as I know, the one in the Guild Hall was taken from a Night Sister that Captain Sargulio apprehended. Now, <clears throat> that gives us the information we need to know that over here in the prison, we will find what we need. I remember right. Maybe not. This one. There we go. She says nothing, but glares at you with obvious hatred. Tell me about the headdress. Axe for mid. She cowers and falls silent. All right. There we go. Now we can go back to Rohak. Technically, you don't have to talk to him before you can talk to the Night Sister. But I just like that it kind of completes the story. I asked the Night Sister prisoner about the headdress in the guild hall. Did you? And what did you say? Axe for Min. That's it. Nothing else. And she looked scared. Axe for Min. Mm. That name sounds familiar. I recommend that you go to the Night Sister stronghold and check their scrolls for that. Excuse me. For that name. Return to me if you find anything. All right. So now we have to venture out to the Night Sister stronghold, which is a point of interest. It is. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and activate that waypoint, and then I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy, I'm going to take the starport over here to the science outpost and drive all the way out there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that now, and I'll talk to you when we arrive at the stronghold. All right, here we are coming up on the Night Sister stronghold. So to complete this... We need to go into the stronghold. I'm going to pop some buff items really quickly. And then there are the scrolls. And click the scroll. You sense someone approaching. That's not going to be all. It's going to spawn a few more. Make sure you keep an eye on your health while you're fighting. While you're fighting these, they actually do a pretty good amount of damage. I believe that's the last one. Yes, all right. Return to Rohak. So 
So we're not going to be able to call it instant travel in the stronghold. We're going to drive away a little bit. So I'm going to drive away a little bit, ITV back to the science outpost, and then I'm going to have to fly over to, I'm going to pick Moss Eisley, fly over to Moss Eisley, talk to the Aurelian contact, go back to Aurelia. I'm also going to be careful to not grow a Rancor while I'm out here. So I will talk to you when we arrive. All right, here we are, back at Aurelia. And as long as I don't get turned around, this should be pretty fast. Ah, very interesting. That headdress apparently belongs to a follower of Axfamin. Who is Axfamin? Axfamin was a Night Sister elder who discovered the art of draining the life force of her enemies to enhance her own power. She became a threat to her own people and was struck down by Gethezerion herself when the full scope of her atrocities was brought to light. Axwomen was then banished along with most of her loyal followers. What does that mean for us? The energy surging through the headdress is a signal to her followers. It means that Axwomen has discovered a way to free herself from her banishment. <coughs> Excuse me. And she is contacting her followers so that they will assist in her escape. Axwomen is a dangerous being that will threaten the entire planet, possibly even the entire galaxy. We must help stop her. How do we do that? You must go to the chamber of banishment in which she is imprisoned and defeat her. To enter that chamber, according to... This scroll, you will need the Night Sister Key of Exile. Obtaining that is your next task. I'll update your journal with the details. All right, and now you see we have these four shards that we need to go obtain so that we can form the Night Sister Key of Exile to get into the heroic instance. So, they're all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and start probably with the Shard of Hatred because it's here at the Singing Mountain Clan stronghold and it's pretty close to the trade outpost. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drive out there, and I will talk to you when we arrive. Alright, here we are, coming up on the location for the Shard of Hatred. Now make sure that you're nice and buffed up when you start this, because just like the scroll, it's going to summon some enemies that you have to fight. Let's bang the gong. All right, just a few more. Should be one more. And there we go, we got the Shard of Hatred. So now, as you can see by my map here, I put in some waypoints that show me where these are. I'm gonna kinda, kinda make a loop and pick up the three that are here on Dathomir. The fourth is actually on Dantooine. So we're gonna hit the Shard of Indifference next. And then the Shard of Obedience is actually back at the Night Sister Stronghold. So I'm gonna drive over here and I will talk to you once we arrive. Alright, here we are, approaching the Shard of Indifference. So, before I start this, I'm going to make sure 
Then I'm all buffed up, and then we'll get going. Perfect. Yes, stand right next to each other. Big fan. More of that, please. And there we go, that's the Shard of Indifference. So, in keeping with the trend, now we're going to drive back over to the Night Sister Stronghold. We're going to have to go into the cave that's next to it, and we'll get the Shard of Obedience. So I will talk to you again once we get there. Alright, here we are coming up on the Night Sister Stronghold again. And so, as I mentioned, right down here... There's this pit with a cave. We're going to have to go inside the cave. And we're going to have to fight our way down. Um, everything in here is an elite, and they all will death blow you. So, you really don't want to try and run past these. And they do do... They do do... They do do quite a bit of damage. So just be aware. This is definitely, I would say, the hardest prequest out of any of the heroic prequests, um, which is kind of ironic because the instance is one of the easiest. But either way. We're working our way down. I think the spell we were actually does more damage than the Rancor, if I remember right. Oof, pain. I don't want to have to use Stand Fast. Well, if I must. Ouch. Well, that <clears throat> hurt a little bit. I wonder if I could skirt these. Let me try. Awesome. Seems like I can. I don't know which one of these does more damage. I'm just going to focus the Night Sister, I guess. Evidently, it was that spell we heard that was doing the damage last time because this does not hurt nearly as bad with just the rank core. Awesome. I bet I can skirt these as well. Just take this initiate. Awesome. Looks like I can.
Perfect. So that's what we're trying to get to. We need to get to that Bloodline Skull right there. And it's going to summon enemies when we do. So i got to make sure I clear everything between me and that skull. Start with these two Rancors. Rancors do a bit of damage. <coughs> a lot of damage, actually. We need to drop one. There we go. Woo! Man, those hurt. Alright. So next is going to be the two Rancor Tamers, and then we'll take out that Rancor back there. Almost had to use my stand fast there if I was close. Yeah, the Rancor Tamers don't do all that much damage. Definitely seem to be the weakest enemy down here. Go ahead and just aggro the Rancor, since we're still full health. Still doing good on health. And there we are. Now on to the skull. You feel an angry whale rattle your soul. seem to be doing very much. It seemed like she used any abilities for some reason. Another spell weaver. There we go. This is the final boss for this. And there we go, Shard of Obedience. So now, I just need to head over to Dantooine and get the Shard of Pity. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to snake my way out of this cave, trying not to aggro these larger mobs of enemies. ITV, travel over to Dantooine, and I will talk to you when we get to our destination. Alright, here we are on Dantooine, coming up on the location for the Shard of Pity. So, we'll rinse and repeat from earlier, I will make sure I'm all buffed up, and then I'm going to interact with the statue.
keep taking out these Dark Jedis. And there we go. This will be the last one. Awesome. That is now complete. So all we need to do now is return to Rohak in Aurelia. So, I'm going to go ahead and drive out of here. I'm going to go back to Moss Eisley, talk to the Aurelian contact, and then shuttle back to Aurelia. All right, here we are back in Aurelia. Let's talk to Rohak. Excellent, you gathered all the shards. Now you must fuse them together to form a key. How do I fuse them together? Go to Mount Shallot on lock. At the very top, it's a large crater filled with lava. Using the heat of the volcano's lava will fuse your shards into the key. All right, over to lock we go. So, as Rohak said, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to hop into the starport here. Go over to lock and shuttle as close to the mountain as I can and drive the rest of the way. All right, here we are, coming up on the volcano. Ooh, server is shutting down soon. Well, hopefully I can get this done. Let's see. I'm not sure how this is going to work, now that they've added lava to the center of this that used to not be there. Let's see how it's coded. This might be the death of me. Does this hurt? Yep. Sure does. Well, let's see if I can fuse it together right here. Let's go into the lava pool. Well, huh? I'm gonna have to uh, figure that out, I guess. Do I have to? Oh, I wonder if I have to use these little paths. Yowzes. I do. There we go. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't work. Oh, of course. How silly of me. We must use the Force to fuse the shards. Travel to the Blue Leaf Temple on Yavin 4. Inside, there should be enough residual emanations of the Force to fuse them. Well, that was a lot less than five minutes, but we'll finish this up in a minute. All right, everybody. So, what we did, fused the shards in the volcano actually stuck before the server restarted, so I am here at the Blue Leaf Temple on Yavin 4. It is quite the long drive, there's really no way around that. But here we are, this is going to be our second attempt at fusing these shards together. So, we're going to fight our way inside. To be aware, if you couldn't tell, these things actually do a decent amount of damage, so just be mindful of your health as you fight them. Keep pushing our way inside. Added the collection, since we've now been to the Blue Leaf Temple. Right, now we need to go all the way to the bottom. Keep working our way down.
clear out some of these down here. Awesome. And now that we're down at the bottom, I should be able to fuse them. And there we go. We have completed the Night Sister headdress. We have gotten the Key of Exile, which means that we can use this to get into the Night Sister Chamber of Management to start the heroic. Let's see, what did he say? Excellent. I should have known that only the Force would be able to unite those shards. Now that you have the key, you should be able to enter the chamber that holds Axe Woman and stop her from escaping. And as I said, that is the heroic instance. So, as before, we're not going to be doing that this time, but that's going to do it for this video. So, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time.